Uh, well, one tended to uh, my wartime experience, of course, would be as a young boy. So I kept my uh, cinema going mainly to the local cinemas. Uh, a because they were accessible, and B because they were affordable compared to a uh, city cinema which in any event, as a youngster, I wouldn't have been allowed to go to unless uh, I'd been accompanied by an adult, you know, one of the family, which happened later, but not, not at this part of the time I'm talking about. So those, those experiences were uh, quite uh, interesting. And for instance, you would, you would get, um, in the early days of 1940, you've got the very occasional air raid at Liverpool. And uh, it wasn't until, I think, late 1940 that the evening air raids were taking place. We had one or two flights over in the daytime. But in the evening, of course, most aircraft uh, would, would uh, not reach Liverpool um, until very late evening, say around about 10 o'clock, or much later than that. So cinemas will often be closed uh, by the time an air raid siren would be sounded. But on, on other occasions, the flights would be early, or there would be a false alarm, and the, the siren would go, and the, uh, a um, notice would come on the screen that an air raid warning had been sounded, and that uh, uh, patrons could uh, leave the cinema uh, if they wished, and uh, those who wished to remain could. Now, there were other occasions when the threat was probably more severe and you were evacuated in effect. In other words, it was decided it wouldn't be safe to stay in the cinema. Uh, so that's what happened in those, in those conditions.